Hello fellow Asian and non-Asians, um, so first off, I'm just gonna say that this is probably gonna be the last video where I use the Hello fellow Asian and non-Asians intro, it's just getting really weird, and I'm sure you agree with me. Um, so, if you're for some reason really, really sad about that, I'm sorry, I guess. But anyway, uh, today I'll be doing a really, uh, a relatively quick review of the Angstrom Vault OEM. So it's not going to be a voiceover review like I did with my last two square ones that I recently got, but it's going to be less of a regular review and more of me just comparing it to my stock version. So in this video, I'll be comparing the Angstrom version to the stock version, like I just said. And they, for reference, they both have clear magnets and springs on the inside of the cube, so they're both just on stock settings. So alright, um, I'll get started with the review now. So for starters, while the st stock version costs $44.99, the Angstrom version comes in at only $10 more at $54.99. So now I'll be talking about the tensioning of the cube. So I personally really like how the puzzle was tensioned out of the box, the Angstrom version. So on my old cube, um, it was relatively loose, and it was loose to the point where I would actually get a corner twist every now and then. So that was relatively annoying. However, on the Angstrom version, um, I am hardly ever um, going to get a corner twist on this cube. In fact, like for the entire week that I've had this cube, I haven't corner twisted it once, I believe. So even with that in mind, I'm still able to turn this cube pretty quickly and flawlessly without many lockups and catches. So I personally really like how this cube is tensioned, so thank you to the pro shop for that. Um, so now I'll talk a little bit about the turning on this cube. So for my old Vulc Elite, I actually tried to set it up with Angstrom Roof just without the Lubico Black. Yet the difference between the two is still very prominent. So this cube is noticeably slower, um, but it's still uh, very fitting of my turning style, and it even feels slightly gummy. Um, on the other hand, the Angstrom Vulc Elite's turning is a lot faster. It glides a lot more smoothly, and it's noticeably drier. Uh, furthermore, my stock version has this pretty clicky sound, which you might be able to hear here. <laughs> Just here. Um, it has sort of a clicky sound, and the magnets on it are just more pronounced. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it. But comparing that to the Angstrom version, it has um, sort of a muffled plush sound, which I do really enjoy. And the magnets on it are, they feel a bit weaker, even though they're the same strength. They just feel um, less prominent, which would explain the sort of gliding feel um, of the cube. So overall, uh, my old Vulc Elite had some annoying corner twists due to my terrible tensioning skills, as well as a somewhat gummy and clicky feeling. Um, on the other hand, the Angstrom Vulc Elite has little to no corner twists with, without compromising catching and lockups, and it also has a very glidey and quick feel. So, is this my main? While I can still get my normal times on it, I personally am not the biggest fan of this subtle dry feeling. I'm sure that if I try to adjust this cube a bit to my personal preference, it could become my main. So I'll try to update you guys on whether or not I end up switching to this cube. But for now, I am I do really like the cube um, because I still am able to get really fast times on it. It's just, at the moment, the dryness is just not the best for me. So overall, if you prefer um, if you prefer not to set up your own cubes and enjoy a very quick and glidey feel as well as a very subtle dry feeling in your cube, then I would highly recommend spending the extra $10 um, on the Angstrom Bulk Elite M. So yeah, thank you to the Pro Shop for setting this cube up, as well as to Jules for setting it out. Thanks for watching and enjoy some of my solves on this puzzle.
no. Oh, wow. 